so good to be back guys this is a great show audience esl nigeria tv my name is Nikki moyo your home girl as you already know the green show brings to you all of the players the movers the shakers of the entertainment industry all i need you to do right now is to sit back relax because it is about to go down don't go anywhere And we're back, guys. Our guest today is someone that has been in the industry for a very long time. He's promoted a lot of the big acts that we have seen today in the entertainment industry. And I bring to you Chasson. He's the CEO of My Street Media, My Street PR, and My Street Everything My Street. Hi, Chasson. I'm fine. How are you doing? High five. It's been like a minute. Right. Yeah. I, I love you coming out. I love the whole glasses thing i love the whole that's, hoodie that's the way it starts too that's, that's the way we lie to each other <laughs> <laughs> no shades no no shades no shades how are you doing Shasa? i'm very fine i'm very fine it's great to be back in benin yeah it's, you always call yeah, to benin like and, and even within the school some mm -hmm. people think maybe i'm a student that that's how much i've uh, promoted a lot of not just artists yeah just models mm -hmm. everybody creative talent that yeah. it's just my thing you know it's it's um it's so nice that I'm in this town. We yesterday, you know, celebrating two plays twenty years. Yeah, true. I remember, I uh, like I was like the first person that put plantation boys in a music magazine cover. You've been long coming. Yeah, so it's 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 it's, it's a joy to just sit back and take that in. Mm -hmm. and, and I remember going to press that to want to put them on the cover because back in the days. That's his hood. Yeah. That's the face as well. nah, back in the days, there was no photographer. We don't have the killing chair, man. be. Yeah. All we do, most artists, they just take their pictures at the event and they put them on the soft cell. Mm. So we decided that the fact that, like, why don't we just buy a camera, take the pictures for the purpose of the story? And mm -hmm. I remember I got the camera, I went to first tag, you know, try to put the plans, you know, the guys together. And it yeah. took me almost about three hours to be able to get that shoot because it was so funny. There was no, there's no major player, there was no company sponsoring. Yeah brand there's only one which is a cigarette company mm -hmm. you know back in the days then you know two face came in with a singlet and you know <laughs> i got imagine but we couldn't face delayed because there was nothing for him to wear so it's so funny that it was you know this evil guy selling um clothes this thing that they push mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. that he got the stuff and that was the first cover we did for plantation boys that's why any day up to today two face sees me and begin to shout even because the two face first album grass the Grace, was my follow the, yeah. the cover yeah you know, his second album it was my photo to put on the cover. And look at where the industry is today now. We have artists want to do this. A lot of brands, artists want, they want to release an album. They go to a photographer. Yeah, a photo shirt and Yeah, you know, it, it was just people like us. And we and a lot of people in the industry that was helping to push, put in the shirt and let them. And it's great that 20 years and I just smiled that. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, something you know, that you did. People, not just Two-Face, a lot of artists that I've put on the cover from from Rugged Man to Pop Play to all the artists are actually. Uh, I, 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 knew, I knew when you came yeah. to Benin with them, Fireboy, DML, and, and I was like two months ago. I saw all of the media told well, you. Funny. When I came here two months ago, I was telling that this guy is gonna blow, and most of them were like, yo, mm, I said he's gonna blow. And, and Olami, they just knew that you yeah, just had this signing thing, and you just. Not just that, you knew, he actually called me and said, Lad, man, we, the way I walked to him, because that's the way Aide Kawasa called me okay. and said, this is Olamide, you need to push, you need to do something for me. And I remember Olamide was sitting under the table. He's so shy. And he said, yeah, because he just, under the table, he just write rhymes and did, did a lot of um, story. Because when I pick up an artist, I just turn into my brand. I sleep the artist, I drink the artist, mm. and he just take and He said, I should do the same thing for five hours. I said, fine, let's go. I was supposed to take him on an interstate to ourselves. But he's been going to media and leaders and he doesn't get value for it because most of the guys on air and a shout out to all the OEPs, most of them actually they just open net and begin to talk what is trending. They actually don't know how to interview artists, they don't know how to make the right assumption and the right mm -hmm. conclusion. So the artist could actually learn. So he goes there, they ask him the same question. So I took him around Lagos and indirectly when I get into the studio, I indirectly prep. The, the oh, and he's like, and this is the, the question no, that you... No, 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 this is the question. Oh, the industry and they say, oh, wow, wow, so this, this is, is there. there and that's the way it's done. Most of them, they're learning, I'm learning from them. And we finished Lagos, we did all the state time. Mm. Just came back and the joy just went. 
But but it's that really because yeah. I know that you're a, you're a journalist and you are also an artist promoter. How do you get to juggle these two? These two very they, because they're tedious. Journalism for me is just like uh, it's really not hard because I just sleep. I love the industry. I you know basically they actually know much facts right now, so you have to be able to read a lot and make the right deduction, mm -hmm. draw your own conclusion and bring it together because everybody is just recycling stuff. Okay. So to me, I just, I see an artist, I try to understand the band, brand yeah. and write the artist in a way that most artists are written for. They just, they see the stories and they smile that I just, I know they say, no, because I understand you. Mm. And that's, that's the way it is for me. So, and promoting artists is just, I don't even see how because most artists manage that actually, uh, most Aaron boys, some of them, I call them. Because, oh, God. Yeah, no, there's nothing bad because most of them just call their friends. But I see artists and I say, okay, fine, I want to push out. So I don't, I see them as my friend. Mm -hmm. That's why I've been able to be here 17 years in the industry and we, we relate. Okay, you're my friends. And after, when I'm into journalism, I don't, I don't bring anything. Yeah, it's our friendship into the, yeah, into that's the work. I've been able to work with them and people, people, artists like the band, I remember attending the MTV Rock Music Awards mm -hmm. in 2007 mm -hmm. when Munich to there. And there's a lot of that went down there. But you know, so when I come back to my work, I don't put that in. in yeah. Because people think you have to do a bad story or to sell. Mm -hmm. And most artists, most journalists today, I just smile. I've never been part of that and I'm still here. Most of them are coming and they just disappear because I just, I get the, the, the first rule of journalism is to get the fact right before mm -hmm. you just to distort it. Okay. Then build brand. When you begin to build brand, you just, you just there. Bini, we're here. You see a lot of artists now. There yeah. was a guy here before called Erasmus used to be the major color. People mm. like the, the likes of Maliki were signed on that Erasmus. Oh. We come here, they come in from Lagos, I come here and do story for them. We'll go to, um, we go to the Grand Hotel in Asaba. That's, mm -hmm. where, that's where we do stuff. Yeah. And now if you come here, there's a lot going on. And I, and I just smile, that's how I met people like Andy Bello. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's, it's just, everything just begins to evolve. And I just do it uh, in my own way. Do you feel that a lot of artists these days they re yeah. evolve over time? Because you said 17 years in the industry yeah. is a whole lot. And of, of course, the industry has rules that have yeah. been played by. So I, I want to know some of the rules, though. What are the rules that you feel like if you are in the entertainment industry, these are the rules that you must play by? Uh, rules like, number one, maybe it's just me. Number one, I don't have rules to life. I don't do, he's a girl, he's a bad boy. He has to be from this state. Okay. I just leave me, I have a conversation with you, mm -hmm. I enjoy it. You know, we we just we just move and mm -hmm. we learn it every day. Okay. I don't think there's any basic rules, but if you lie to yourself, that that's you. I, I, I don't think there's any need that know your work, continue to learn, and be nice to people mm. and build people because the truth is that this industry can't really grow when you don't begin. There's no, there has to be an ongoing, constant, insistent way of developing brands. Mm -hmm. If not, you just see you have a, bo a whole bunch of new guys you're promoting, you're not promoting a new one. Within five, six years, they are done. So what done, I do is yeah. like, I do activation and someone, you see like two months ago, I put this artist and the next yeah, month, the artist is not trending. Yeah. So the bottom line is that you have to keep learning, you have to keep evolving, mm -hmm. understand the system and be nice and be true to people. And don't do trigger about that, you know, I want to mm -hmm. do something for so yeah, something. That's about me. No, to me, it's not the way, just be nice to yourself, okay. know your onions and just keep doing you. you. You talked about shooting a documentary. You're doing a documentary currently in Benin about yeah. people that are uh, playing your role in the entertainment industry. And you've, you're talking to me about a lot of OAPs right now that you've that's shot into the limelight. What, what are we hoping to see it's, from the documentary? Although you didn't tell me okay. so that we'd be in the documentary <laughs> and blow. Shetan don't want me to blow. So. Uh -huh. It's actually not... Um, and that's me again that people don't know. Just like you are written about a lot of OAPs in this town. And I can, some of them will see me and said, oh, I got employed. Do you know how it feels that somebody said, I got employed? Because they told me where they employed me, that they saw a story you did on me. Mm. And these are people that I know that this guy, this, this person is good. We should write something. It is, it, is, it is a role for me as a mm -hmm. journalist to be able to go around and see talent and write about it. Because there's a lot of talented people everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I just thought about, okay, I've been writing a lot about a lot of people behind this. I call them puppet master, people pulling the string. Now let me let me flip it a bit. Let me do some visuals that people can see because it's just part of me. The day I stop supporting people or building brand, I feel sick mm -hmm. in some ways. So mm -hmm. I just said, I'm going to come to this town. Let me sit sit down with them and record some stuff and put it out because I know if I put it out, not because of the purpose I want somebody to be better, 
but because I know they will be better because there's somebody looking for yeah, something. For some money, but there's yeah. this unbalance where you know in economics they said if if, if the resources are not evenly distributed, distributed yeah. you know it, some people will be poor. So 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 as well as in the media, if people are not properly reported, if everybody is doing like you guys are here doing a great job, yeah, and if people are not seeing, seeing what we're doing, it's a problem because there's a lot of brand looking for opportunities like this mm -hmm. to jump on. Mm -hmm. But you know, everybody just make us think Lagos is the mecca, and everybody in the Le in Lagos mm -hmm. are supernatural. No, they are not supernatural. <laughs> we started writing something about them. It's just true, a thing true. Every OEP that is major today, big on everywhere, we just started writing something on them. Mm -hmm. But you know, some of them. Somehow they miss it because they think, oh, fine. I'm no, you know, should I start this? So I know virtually everybody. So sometimes I just look at them like, oh, okay. We know where you're coming from. You know, like, we know, we know the road, yeah, man. Just know, so what I, mean, I don't feel bad about it because I'm still here. Kingmakers come, they live long, kings come and go. So yeah. I just do me like, hmm, it's all right. It's just the way it is. Right, right. Yeah. So yeah, I I I I love our entertainment industry. Okay. I, although I don't I don't really know how, how everything gets to work. And okay. so, if you're going to be promoting an artist, okay. and I know that you use My Street magazine, very popular. Okay. Everybody gets to know My Street okay. magazine. You know, pushing people's work. Yeah. You know, artists and people see what you're doing. What yeah. are the things that you've seen on artists and you feel you would never push? Uh, one, I I think it would be a bit subjective to be able to to use the same yardstick for. Uh, uh, like David to to measure a new artist. It doesn't okay. have the resources. It doesn't have uh, what it is. It's for me to listen and say this song is good. Oh, fine. Yo, I know many people I just saw online. I said, mm -hmm. oh, this song is good. Mm -hmm. Can you send it to me? And I just said, and some of you guys like, huh? I said, yes, send it to me. I'll write something on you. Like I said, if you just keep doing you, if the, the stuff is good. On my own part, I just listen to it. Mm -hmm. I put it out. Sometimes I even go beyond me. I just I see the brand. Maybe yeah. I see my. Do you know his eyes support this side? Because you know it's funny that several years ago, I was sitting on somewhere within brands and two phase was at the height of everything. But it's this word in economics that they call price discrimination, mm -hmm. where if you fix the same price for everybody, sometimes people don't want to use you. Mm -hmm. But when it's when you can find a way to put price discrimination, where you can do. Different people at different prices. Mm -hmm, you grow. Mm -hmm. So I told them, oh, fine. He has a major story. I said, use this artist. And somehow, seven years later, I just saw OD somewhere. And even the buyer see me, but by the time he says, ah, so okay, you talk mm -hmm. about me. And I said, to me, it's just the way it is. So as long as we keep supporting no people, in as long as everybody is going, because for everything I do, I'm learning. Not sure. Everybody that grows, I'm learning. For every artist that you raise, every brand that you raise, you're actually in the industry of raising yourself because an industry where there's only one person surviving, then we, we're not going to last long. Okay. Many people don't know it. If, if they take away the money in the entertainment industry because we're not growing up, because we're beefing, they give it to the sport guys. Mm -hmm. Many people don't know that idea. Mm -hmm. So, because there was a time even within the comedy guys, they're always having issues. Yeah. And they take their money. So, if you, if you, know, if you know the back end story, you know that your survival is actually dependent, dependent on, on everything. So mm -hmm. for every artist that I support, I'm actually supporting myself. Mm -hmm. If I have always everywhere today, yeah, it, it grows support. If through Olami Day that I just did my own little for, and several artists have come through him, and after many years from 2012 that I put Olami Day on the cover, and people called me in this industry and told me I was celebrating with mm -hmm. They Actually, they actually told me. I because it's from the street. No, because people don't see that Alam is going to blow. Oh, because okay. there's this way, if you have to be a rapper, you have to be a lyricist, you have to be the non-conformist. Mm. Shout out to Mudnai. She understand me. If you do local, people don't want to affiliate to you. Mm -hmm. When I did Fino, uh, Fino was, was the major issue. Because <laughs> now everybody associates with what is local. No, it wasn't like that. I did Fino and people say, oh, this is a good boy. That they don't blow. No, people don't want, forget all the cream people now mm. as no, if you are not mainstream, if you are not that way, or if you are not the my people, your guys, because that's the way it is at the particular time. Then they say, Michelle, they called me and they actually insulted me that, no, why did I do Fino? Mm. I said, man, you need to you need to travel, go from anywhere up and see the legion of fans. Mm. If you even think outside, if everybody is local, then you're getting it wrong. Mm -hmm. Look at where it is. Go to Fino first, one of the biggest. Go to Alamde Show, one of the biggest. And after the year 2012, Alamde is still calling me. To support, yeah, fireball. Yeah, I mean, in the next five, twelve years, 
Bagua is going to call me. And say, we need to use a boy that circle keeps going yeah, round and round. Yeah. Well, she's all, I think if we sit with you today, we're going to have a very huge section on the grid. But we're going to go on a quick break. When we return, we'll push us on the hot seat. Because he studied, I don't know if he studied economics or something. But, no. we'll, okay, we'll push us on the hot seat. After the short break, let's see if he's going to survive or if he's going to burn. Stick around. Show where we get to put our guest she's on, on the hard set, and even he is an investigative journalist, he's not gonna escape this one. Like he has, he cannot escape this one. She's on ready. Yeah, ready and a bit happy defeat. <laughs> okay, drum rolls. Okay. We get to do drum rolls okay. on the hard set, so okay. let's go. Okay. It's you're the one doing the drum rolls. Like. Mm. Okay. okay. So black or white. In terms of colorful what? Yeah, just choose black or white. You just pick one. Uh, black. Black. Uh -huh. You're very ready. I'm black, sir. To go or telegram? To go or telegram. In terms of what? In terms of which you take, which you prefer. I'm lost. To go or telegram? Like, which would you prefer? No, I have to skip that. Why? I just want to like, I didn't the concept of the question. The, the concept of the question is if you have to go and you have telegram on your oh, phone. Oh, you have to go? Yes, or telegram on ah, your phone. Oh, it was telling as if it was a brand you're mentioning, like, to go. Like... This, I, I'm uh, sorry, it's... it's <laughs> no, 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 no beef. Yeah. Oh, nice. Amazing. So, pepper soup or vegetable soup? Mm. I know I'm calling food. I didn't make vegetable it. It's not the good. Pepper soup. Most of the people just like put me food. So, you always say fish pepper soup. So, vegetable. Vegetable. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what is a baby monkey called? Baby monkey? Mm. No, I don't know that. Okay. There's something for you. You either have water or you have oranges or apple or cucumber. <sighs> Love a ring. Yeah. Your choice. You just have to do it local man style. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, next question. Uh, what is dirty after washing? What is dirty after, after washing? washing? Yes. Yo. Yeah. I didn't plan for you now. It's just what is dirty after, after washing? washing. Nah, I don't know. Okay. You take another one. You just what? take You take it to your house. I take, take yeah. what? You, you take another orange. Like, she said, like, oh, like okay. Oh. Ah, then I have to go. I have to say no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, so what do you know? What do you know you can hold without ever touching it? Meanwhile, the answer to the previous yeah, question is, is okay. yes. The answer to the previous question is actually bath water. Okay. Yes. That's, then you think about it. Answer the one for the baby monkey. monkey. Well. Let yeah. me the name of the baby monkey is called an infant. Uh huh. Is it? Oh, <laughs> oh, God, my baby. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so what falls you should get this one. What falls down but never no, gets something you asked me before that I don't know. Okay, okay, yeah. Do you do you know what you can hold without ever touching it? Ah, there's a lot. Maybe I'm gonna go outside the box a bit, but there's so many things I can hold without Okay. You okay. Can, you can hold love without even touching it. Hmm. Yeah. Don't fall in love with him. Don't do it. Uh, Don't fall in love with him. Shake your head, sister, and come out. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. fall in love with him. Right. <laughs> okay, so what falls down but is never injured? What falls down but never, never injured? injured? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, wow. What falls down and never injured? Hmm. No, I'll skip that. You skip that? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's, uh, wait, I didn't know this is still there. Oh, no, I don't even know it. Right, let's go. 
Okay, okay so uh, the answer to that is rain. Oh, whatever, man. Rain. Oh, I don't know it. <laughs> okay. Oh okay. okay, so I need to spell your name backwards and pronounce it. A N A S E S. Pronounce it. Nissan. Because when I go to Sarika, some people say, Are you Sisan or are you Nissan? And two faces are shocked, so whatever. <laughs> Last but not the least, recite two times. I should what? Recite two times. Recite? Yes. Recite what? Two times, one, two. Oh! Mm. <laughs> oh, so you guys can just have me and go say, no, Okay. I don't know. But I don't know, but I don't want to say it. <laughs> Like, you know, it, was good. It, it was good having you on the show today. Don't do you want to hug me? No, I, I do not want to hug you. No, I'm not going to do that on my show. Okay. Yeah. But it, it was good. It was good having you on the show okay. and all of the enlightened stuff you said on the show today. Okay. I, I'm, I'm super excited and I know of you are super excited. All right, well, this has come to the end of another exciting episode of the Great Show Audience yes, on Nigeria TV. Do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear from you feedback, views, and everything you think about The Grill Show. My name is Nekki Moyo, and I'll be at the same time next week. It is a bye for now. Stay connected to TSL Nigeria and get updates on the go all day, every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel on TSL Nigeria Space TV and join our online family.